the next category now, which is Corporate Excellence Award. Here, we recognize the alumnus for their exemplary contribution towards growth of a company in a leadership role. Here are the nominations for this category. and Professor Malik Krishna to kindly come up to announce and present the award. So it's an honor to announce the winner is Mr. Mukesh Agarwal. <laughs> Mr. Mukesh Agarwal, class of 1992 from the PTTM program, is currently working at the National Stock Exchange and is the CEO of NSE Indices Limited and NSE Data and Analytics Limited. Being the business head, he is responsible for providing strategic direction to the business and setting up product agendas during his tenure. The total revenues of the index and data businesses at NSE have grown four times in the last seven years. His efforts have also not only led to an increase in the market share of the NSE index space in India, but also an increased presence in the international markets. He, in the past, has also been associated with Crystal Limited, a standard and poor's company for 20 years, including president of Crystal India Research for five years. Sir, so we congratulate you and request you to please share some insights on your journey so far. Thank you very much and good evening, Dean Dr. Nagraj, esteemed faculty, uh, students, my batchmates and alumni members. I really feel honored and humbled to receive this award from my alma mater. I would say it's a matter of pride. And I am visiting the institute almost after 30 years and I see the institute has totally changed. In fact, when we came, we joined in 90, Ours was the first batch to come into this building and we had only two classrooms, you will not believe it. And both the classrooms used to leak during the rainy season. But I don't regret, I think, but whatever values we learned, whatever we learned was excellent. And another thing is, I call myself as a lucky man. I'll tell you why. One is because I've studied in two institutes, great institutes, I would say. One is Bits Pilani and second is SPGen. And in both the institutes, I have been lucky, I would say the luck was in my favor that I got admissions. I'll tell you why again. Now in Bits Pilani, I got admission in the third list. And because that time we had no competitive exams, we used to get admissions based on marks. If I had got one mark less in my class 12th, I wouldn't have got admission in Bits Pilani. I was lucky enough, I got admissions in the third list. And the story repeats in SPGen also. Now SPGen also, I had applied for the exams, I got admissions into NM. SPGen, I didn't get admission. I think finally, in some third list or fourth list, I got admission. The story repeats. And now I feel very lucky that I took the decision of joining SPGen and not going to NM. Again, there also, <laughs> my father called me up. My father called me up from Calcutta because he had some, some, he knew someone and he told him that you should go to SPGen because I had never heard of the name of SPGen to be honest at that time. That friend of my father told my father that he should go to SPGen. I believed him and I came in here. And I'm very, very happy that I made the right decision on coming here. I really feel proud to be associated with the institute because I remember when we came in, and this is a fact of life because our institute was, that time we are just coming up. In fact, in our batch, when we passed out at the time of placement, I think Asian Paints came here for the first time. P P and PNG came in for the first time. None of the big guys used to come, and I got a job in, in uh, Asian Paints that time. So I think things have been falling in place for me, and I've been cons I consider myself very, very lucky. And for that, I would like to thank my father. Again, I'll tell you why. Because my father sent me to a hostel in class fourth. A lot of people ask me, was your dad nut? Did he send you a hostel in class fourth? Didn't he, didn't he love you? But when I look back the whole thing, I feel I was lucky one that my father sent me to a hostel in class fourth, because if I had continued to stay in Calcutta, being a Marwadi, being a joint family, probably I wouldn't have learned, but going into hostel, the kind of values, the kind of things I learned, because in staying in a hostel, because if you stay in a city, you will not get a chance to do horse riding, you will not get a chance to do swimming, you will not get a chance to play basketball, but since I was in a hostel, 
I got a chance to do everything and that has changed me as an individual. So I think I consider myself to be very, very lucky all through my life. I have got the right friends. I have Priya, Anu, uh, Arun Agarwal. I still remember him by his nickname. Arun Agarwal, all the good friends were my, my Bits Pilani day friends, my school friends. Lucky to have been associated with good friends. And similarly, I think when we were here, we had excellent professors. I think Dr. Shrikant, late Dr. Shrikant, then all the professors, Professor Rao, Professor Kulkarni, Professor Patel, I think all of them shared the vision that, first of all, our institute should be different. Institute should be hutke, should not be a normal MBA institute. I think that's what we are doing, all this teaching on social services, etc. Institute should be different and institute should reach one of the top ranked institutes. And I'm very glad that we are there now. I really feel proud to be associated with the institute, not because we have read the rank, but kind of values and ethos which we learned in the institute. I think our institute is very, very different. And I believe that key, being a different institute, being a low profile institute, it really helps because then that also taught us in real life, we need to be humble, we need to be all those kind of stuff. So I think it's a, I really thanks a lot to the institute, thanks the institute for the award. But also, in, I would say in my personal life also, sorry, in my professional life, again, I've been very, very lucky. I'll tell you why. Sorry for taking more time. But when I did my MBA over here, I thought I'm a production guy, I'm an operations guy. I took operations as my specialization. I did some courses in finance and I joined Asian Paints. I went to the shop floor. Again, shop floor, again, we are MBA, hai. Dadagri chalayenge. to be honest, the workers taught me how to treat your team members. So because they, in two, one month, they taught me how to treat it. Now, after that, I changed my career. I used to think that I'm a finance guy. I'll get into finance. Again, I was lucky to get into Crystal. And Crystal, I was a hardcore analytics. And I always believed, even my batchmates would never imagine that Mukesh Agarwal will ever do marketing or sales in his life because I was considered to be one of those hardcore numbers guy, analytics guy. So, but again, wherever I've gone in my job, people have told me to different roles. One day my boss calls me and tells me, please do sales, you hit the sales. I believed him, I trusted him, I took up the role and I succeeded. So I think I've been lucky in all along, but if I have to look back and just, just for the students, look back and what has been the key success factors or what has helped me being successful in my life, I would just list down a few things. This sound to be very simple, but I think these are very, very important in life. One is, I think, and some of the winners have already said this, one is be humble, stay rooted, generate and win trust of the various stakeholders, continuous product innovation and stay ahead of the competition, focus on execution excellence, get into the details and don't do things superficially, ability to think beyond the obvious. This is another, next point is very important. Invest in the future growth of the company. Don't sacrifice investments for sake of reporting, reporting profits in the short term. Be empathetic, empathetic towards the team. Celebrate success with the team. Again, this is very important. And have the right bonding among the team members. Provide regular and honest feedback to the team members. In life, everything is common sense and simple logic. Don't complicate life, but keep things simple. Lead by example. And above all, I would say show gratitude. Again, this is very important. And this is just because I happen to be from the stock exchange, especially for the students. Start investing early in life to reap the benefits of compounding. Because... <laughs> No, and I don't know how many of you know, I don't know how many of you read this book, uh, Psychology of Money, and that book he says that Warren Buffet made 90% plus of his wealth after the age of 50. So that is the power of compounding and also invest in equity because wealth can be created from equity. <laughs> Sorry for pardoning this, but again, we have to do that. So in the end, before I conclude, I would like to thank my mentors in my organization, various organizations, my peers, and I will not be doing my job if I have not, will not thank my teams because whatever I have achieved in my life is because of the teams who have worked with me. Then I would also like to thank my parents for whatever values they have taught me, for whatever they have given me in life. My wife, Bina, my son, Divyanj, my wife is sitting here. My son is not here because he's in the US, who have supported me all through my professional life. And in the end, the doctor, Dean Dr. Nagraj, the esteemed faculty, jury, students who have recognized my performance and given me this award. Big thanks to all of you. Look forward to staying staying in touch. Please reach me, reach out to me for any help and support you need. Thanks a lot once again. Have a good evening.